There are two key questions to ask yourself when evaluating your patient with acute decompensated heart failure. First, is the patient perfusing well? To evaluate perfusion, calculate the pulse pressure, assess if the extremities are warm or cool, and examine the patient's mental status. Patients with good perfusion are classified as warm, while those with inadequate perfusion are classified as cold. The second question you need to ask is, is the patient congested? Recall that the indicators of congestion are orthopnea, pulmonary rales, elevated JVP, ascites, edema, or weight gain. Patients with congestion are classified as wet, whereas patients without congestion are classified as dry. Using these two questions, acute decompensated heart failure patients can be divided in four groups for treatment. Warm and wet, warm and dry, cold and wet, and cold and dry. Before we look at these four types of patients, I'd like to review two important concepts from earlier in this mastery course. Recall that preload is the initial stretching of the heart's muscle cells due to ventricular filling with blood before contraction occurs. Afterload is the force which the heart pumps against when it contracts. In heart failure, the left ventricle has decreased contractility, so the amount of blood it can pump with each heartbeat is decreased. To compensate, the left ventricle is overfilled to increase the preload, which increases the stroke volume. When these compensatory mechanisms fail, we commonly get an acute decompensated heart failure patient who is warm and wet. They're perfusing, but also congested. This patient urgently needs IV vasodilators to reduce their afterload. The decreased afterload will increase the stroke volume so that more blood and oxygen reach the vital organs. IV diuretics are also used to rapidly remove the excess fluid. A chronic heart failure patient who is perfusing well and not congested, so warm and dry, usually has adequately compensated heart failure and not acute decompensated heart failure. However, if they have come to the emergency room with worsening symptoms, then you need to look for a non-cardiac cause of their symptoms, such as septic shock or pneumonia. Patients who are cold and wet are not perfusing, but they're congested. They need IV vasodilators to decrease the afterload and improve the stroke volume and IV diuretics to remove the excess fluid. However, the lack of perfusion means the organs aren't getting enough oxygen. This can be improved by giving positive inotropes intravenously to increase ventricular contractility. Lastly, a cold and dry patient is not perfusing well and not congested. This is the least common presentation of acute decompensated heart failure. This is an end-stage patient and the treatment focus is no longer vasodilators or diuretics. The treatment of choice is positive inotropes to increase organ perfusion and you must consider more aggressive interventions. A cardiologist specializing in heart failure should be consulted to see if a mechanical circulatory support device is needed to restore stroke volume and perfusion. We often use temporary percutaneous measures like balloon pumps, percutaneous circulatory assist devices like Impella and ECMO devices in these individuals as a bridge to more permanent treatments like a left ventricular assist device or heart transplantation. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.